In this video, I'm going to show you how you can bypass the Windows login screen without any password. First thing, you have to be a physical access to or reset password or you can add user without telling anyone. After that, you can delete the user and you are done. So you can grab the file, you can do whatever you want to. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can bypass it. Two things. One thing you need the ISO for the Windows 10 machine because I'm accessing or I'm bypassing the Windows login in Windows 10. In my next video, I will show you in Windows 11. So you need flash drive and another one you need to access the physical machine. You can literally add users and access the admin game. After that, you can access user and add user to the administrator group. Before beginning, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Let's assume that this is the physical machine which I have access. So let's try to use any password but i i don't know the password right so is it it says incorrect but what we can utilize this one we can utilize this guy right here if you click it you'll see these features so technically we can utilize this as a command prompt and add a user without knowing the password and if you want it you can just reset the admin password you can add a user as an administrator group and you can delete later on after you are done so it's called util man is easy access but we can utilize this at the command okay so for that let's do this right here because i'm using virtual machine it might be different on your case i'm using virtual machine to attach my kingston data traveler so i connect here i already created the iso and that's why just make sure you have bootable iso for the usb drive or flash drive after that connect to the computer literally and you can do to navigate connect this so if you do this like like this way you can do remove and kingston data traveler connect and after that let's reboot you need to press f2 on your keyboard after that you can literally go to the usb device okay so hit enter after that you'll see this because it's booting from the iso right now once you see this you can click here and click next after that you can go to computer repair after you can go to troubleshoot command prompt right here so as you see right here this is the utilization of the command prompt so for that let's do one thing here let's do wmic logical disk get name so you'll see this c d e f x so c x is the flash drive it may not take the c drive for you so you can just literally go to d or e or f because that need to be the system file okay so let's do dir so after that you'll see few programs right here okay so i after that you can do cd windows slash system 32 okay so now you can rename rem which is the command for rename util man dot exe to util man and you can just do backup because once you are done you can restore that back dot exe we are just utilizing the util man dot exe to open the command from and reset the password for us or add a user for us okay so once you are done there you go after that let's see copy cmd.exe out to util man dot you need to mask this name because it may not take util man dot exe okay so i'll say yes and is this one file copied okay so now let's reboot shut down minus r t zero zero
now let's go to util man right here so after clicking this one it may need to get the command prompt okay there you go all right so now let's do one thing here so first thing we will do net local group because we need to see the groups first as you see right here administrator is there and you can also do w m i so you see anti author ready okay so now let's do one thing is net user i will use joe for the user and the password is password slash add hit enter and boom there you go you are able to successfully add the joe user as the user now what we can do here is net user joe so you'll see right here joe and if you see right here the local group member and local group members is none right here and if you see right here this is the user okay so now let's go to the user if you see right here this is the latest time and if you go to net local group administrator because we are utilizing this group to add Joe to administrator group okay so administrator group Joe add add hit enter after that you'll see the command has been successfully added so you can do now net user Joe again so you'll see right here this is the administrator with the user privilege okay so technically you can close this and you can do other user joe joe and password that which we set up okay so hit enter there you go we are successfully bypassed the login screen that admin which we don't know the password okay so after that we can do our things and we can delete the user and rename the util the tools back and you are done and you can copy over your data and just go so now let's do one thing cmd run as administrator click yes who am I Joe there you go once you are inside you can just run the command prompt as a run as administrator you can do this right here net user Joe deal delete okay so after you copy you are done and then you can just cover the track after that you can log off so now if you try add let's say Joe right here so you are now longer with the user that's it for this video I'll see you in next video and please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching